Brodine up on the play. Has it knocked off his stick by Manson and a pass to the middle by Getzloff enables Anaheim to exit the zone. Stewart's pass into the middle gets away from Raquel who will retreat for a change. The exit denies a pass at the blue line as Porter pressures him. And he plays it away. Around the boards, Theodore finds Perry. Stoll's goal from Eric Holla at 648. And it's 1-0 Minnesota. Bieksa high in the zone, throws a wrist shot off the skate of Stoll, and Holla angles it off the glass and out. Maroon brings it right back in for the Ducks. Wanted to drop it off to Raquel. Now Raquel in the slot had that pass go off his stick as Perry set him up. Granlin the other way. Flips it in and pursues right on the hip of Theodore, who reverses it away. The exit finds an open Cogliano, and Silverberg unable to track it down at center. Ryan Suter, ever present, was there to collect it for the Wild. And when in doubt, drop it back to Suter. He'll be saying his name a lot tonight, John. He's out there an awful lot. The guy doesn't seem to get tired for the Minnesota Wild. Averaged over 29 minutes last season. They've gone easy on him this year. He's just playing about 28 and a half a game. As an icing call here goes against the Ducks. Now, Suter has picked up his offensive game this season, Brian. I mean, he's on pace to set career highs for assists and points per game, but he's so much more than that for this Minnesota Wild team. He really is. I mean, he's a minute-eating defenseman, and that, you know, that's huge. And when you have young defensemen like Jared Spurgeon, Jonas Burdine, Matt Dumb.